Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight, we'll see the Miami Heat playing against the Houston Rockets at Toyota Center. Taking a look at the Rockets, they went 2-0 against this team last season, looking to continue that string of victories tonight. We'll be checking out Kyle Lowry tonight. He's uh, the definition, I think, of a late bloomer when you see how his game has really blossomed with experience. How does his... Uh, how does his performance rate for you, Kenny, among the best point guards in the league? Oh, he's up there when he's healthy. The key is health with him. If, when, uh, I think he made his first all-star team last, uh, last year, first all-star game. That was great. You know, at 28 years old, that usually doesn't happen when you're after nine years in the league. Over the course of his career, he's found ways to improve his game. He's not an efficient scorer, but he's got a lot of ways to create a shot. Heck of a player. He'll sneak up on you and uh, get a triple double on you, too, will Kyle Lowry. Uh, that'll do it. Both teams ready for tip off. Let's send it to Kevin Harlan and the crew. We're live, the home of the Rockets in wonderful Houston, Texas. For the Miami Heat, they won their last contest, that game against the Pistons in Detroit. And you know what? Exactly what had to be done in terms of winning on the road. Never allowed any momentum to build up against them. Kept the crowd out of the game. And for every punch they took, they had a counter. I was very impressed, Greg, with, what, with the way they stood their ground. Even when they were on their heels some, coming through those moments where they were backing up a bit. That's what it takes on the road. You've got to show that kind of fortitude and resilience. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. On the floor for Miami, Chris Bosh is out there with Dallin Bear. Then there's Lowry. Then there's Dwayne Wade. And it's Butler in at the small forward position. And so the Houston Rockets get the first points of the ball game. Bosh, the screen. Bosh heads the pick for Wade. And Bosh now top of the key. Can't convert after the good screen. And here's Wall. Playing Sacramento, he was nearly unstoppable. Here's Lowry. He dishes it to Wade. Bosch, the screen. Three-pointer. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hand. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. Here's Przingis. Boy, that win against the Kings. He's another guy who really showed up to play. Five to shoot. And here's Wall outside. Houston gets it back. Here's the general. Oh, good with the triple. Butler on the win. Covered by Reddick. Butler kicks to Lowry. Shoots from the elbow. And Bosch gets it to go on the assist by Lowry. I don't know. Maybe they're still working out the kinks on D because that clearly was a breakdown. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Now here's Wall. Here's the general. It's Reddick on the way. Wade is covering. The Rockets again can't hit. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. Good ball movement here by Miami. Wade. The shot is off. And Houston the other way. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. And guys, that was their night. I mean, it seemed like everything they shot went in. It happens that way sometimes, guys. It was just one of those games where the hot shooting of a couple of players became contagious and nobody was stoppable. The Rockets shooting their first shots of the night from the charity strike. Yeah, last season, around 71% of the free throws made. And you know what? That has to be a point of emphasis this year. And, you know, whenever they get into a stretch where it looked like maybe they would turn it around at the line, they would immediately take a step back. First one falls for him. 
And that's good as he hits both of his shots. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Lowry kicks to Wade. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Good on the second free throw. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Now here's Wall. Love with the screen on Butler. Wall dishes to Love. Here's Reddick. Another miss by Houston. The right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. Butler passes to Wade. Out to the right wing. Six to shoot. Here's Bosch. And that one's drained from the low block. Bosch has got his second basket of the night. And a really good way to start the game. He's a guy who, if he gets it going early, he's going to give you problems. Porzingis passes to Wall. Pass to Porzingis. From outside, off the mark. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. And I tell you what, anytime you get those easy ones, that basket starts to get bigger. Miami shooting their third free throw shot of the game. trail by seven they really want to find that igniter here yeah that's right they, Kevin the offense has basically been running in place they got to get going now here's wall and Reddick kicks to love lets it go from 11 nope not that time nothing for two from the field and it's Miami's ball stringing it together they've got an 11 2 run going and you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Here's Porzingis. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. And Kevin Love, the bucket with the assist from Reddick. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Lowry dishes to Wade.
to the wing on the left. Bosch. Again, the miss by the Heat. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to um, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. Here's Bosch following the basket by John Wall. And it's Wade penetrating. Good, it's Bosch picking up the assist. And it's six points for Dwayne Wade. That's just run of the mill for him. A typical day at the office. He's one of the more skilled offensive players out there. Ball against Butler. Reddick is in the corner. Shot clock at six. No good. Good D by Wade. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. And it's Butler missing. Rockets trail by five. Launches it. Nice shot by Porzingis. Porzingis has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And that's one of his strengths, knocking down those long-range jump shots. And Lowry gets it to go. Not phased at all by having a bigger defender on him down low, and I really thought he would be. You know, at first glance, you wouldn't think that he'd be comfortable in that particular situation, but boy, I'll tell you what, he didn't look like he was out of his element at all right there. Here's the general after the made shot from Kyle Lowry. And the shot is good. The general's got his second bucket of the night. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Houston this season. And they had some trouble with this group a year ago. And it's a bit of a head scratcher as to why, given the way both teams ended the year. Well, if you only looked at talent alone, you would have thought they would have avoided a sweep. But that wasn't the case, was it? Yeah, it looks like he saw some things out there that, that need to be adjusted. And he's going to take a break here and talk it over. Hey, you know, coaches sometimes need a break in the action to rethink and retool a bit. Anytime you, you're in that situation, it makes sense to use the timeout. Checked in for Dallenberg. Miami with the ball. Outside Lowry. Wade kicks to Bosch. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. Six points for Chris Bosch. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. And it's like a running game in football. When you can pound the basketball inside, it also allows you to control the team's transition. Here's Blatch. Reddick with the bucket. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync. Tremendous communication and awareness. There's the pass to Wade. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Wade's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Heat. Rockets trail by four. Now Wall. Out left to the wing. Here's Blatch. He's covered by Bosch. Unloads from nine. Blatch, no luck. The Heat have gone eight of 14 from the field in the first quarter. Lowry kicks to Wade. Bosch heads the pick for Wade. It's blocked. Passes it to the general. And it's sent back by Bosch. The drive by Lowry. That's good. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. They're all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks their coach drew up. 
And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Miami. They've pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the D to collapse, and that frees up the shooters going forward. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. Free throw drops for Kyle Lowry. Here is Bayless. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Kevin, I had a chance to talk with head coach Eric Spolstra. This is their first matchup of the season against this squad, and he knows the shot clock in the middle will certainly be an obstacle. But he said, quote, we've got to remain aggressive and continue to attack. Guys, he said that putting their bigs in high pick and rolls and shooting the open jumper with confidence will be key. We'll see how they do. And Doris, as always, thanks. And guys, do you agree with Coach's game plan here, given how tough the D is that they're going to go up against? Uh, I really do. I think they're such a hard team to generate offense against that that has to be where they devote most of their attention. Well, as long as it doesn't come at the expense of their own defense, fellas, I mean, they can't concentrate so intensely on offense, they forget to defend. Now here is Lowry. Five points in the game. Turner passes to Biombo, and it's going to be a three-second call. Now look here at the Heat, how they rank in the NBA last season. Third in rebounding, fourth in opponent points per game, and they also ranked among the top five in points off turnover, so they did a nice job of turning people over and then turning those turnovers into points. Yeah, and going back to their rebounding, very few teams could outmuscle them inside. The size and toughness to scrap for every carom off the backboard. Here is Bayless looking for his first basket still in this one. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. At this break in the action, we can show you the teams that had the most rebounds last season. The Heat third. It was really an impressive campaign for their bigs. And, and honestly, I think the whole team did a great job of getting bodies on bodies and controlling that defensive backboard. All right, now. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. And the second free throw, good. The Heat leading by four. They set the screen. Nobody near Barnes. It's rebounded by Houston. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. Hansbro dishes to Udrich. Pass to the general. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. This is his first free throw of the game. Okay, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. No good on the second free throw. 
Well, Heat leading by three. Here's Sutter Ronsky, lays it up and banks it in. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now, here's Hansbrook. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. He always knows where his teammate's going to be, and Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it, right waiting for him. Here's Sodoronski, takes the three, and the Heat, another three. Lowry's gone three for four from the floor tonight. And Bayless kicks to Hansbro. Here's the general. And Evan Turner pulls it down. Miami's gone three of four on three pointers in the first quarter, doing well from long range. And it's Lowry penetrating. And it's Biondo with the jam. Ooh, that's as forceful. Of finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now to their lead in spectacular fashion. And you know, that lead's only going to grow if they're not prepared to defend a little more staunchly than that. And so here is Houston, following the score by Miami. Hansbro, the pass to Bayless. Six to shoot. Shot from the wing. And the shot is long. Well, he leading by eight. And Zedaransky kicks to Barnes. And it's Lowry penetrating. It's blocked. Down low. And Udrich gets it to go. You know, that's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And Clark, they... Might as well keep doing it. I mean, attack the basket until the defense makes an adjustment. He is just tearing it up this quarter. That lead's not going anywhere while he's this high. The Rockets shooting the ball to the tune of 41% from the field so far. Bayless the pass to Blatch. Fires the three. That will not get it done. He's 0 for 2. And here are the Heat now. Eight-point game. Here's the general. He had 13 points in the win against Sacramento. And also, he competed on the backboards. That also had a lot to do with the game. Lowry. Offense, the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. Miami ahead, up six. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And now a chance to hear from Chris Bosch about what it meant to him to become an NBA player, the fulfillment of a lifelong dream. I was obsessed with the NBA as a kid and just like I would have died to get in that locker room, you know. So I always have a moment just sitting around and, you know, just not taking things for granted and really taking everything in. And, you know, I couldn't have written the script any better. What a great cut from Chris Bosh. That's, that's the kind of guy you can't help break the love for his attitude and ability to be, you know, in touch with that kid he once was. I know you played the same way. Chris Bosh is living the dream like you did and loving it. That's a great point, Kevin. And I think most of the guys in the league feel that same way. I mean, they may not be able to say it or articulate it as smoothly as Chris does. Sure. But, but inside, every NBA player is a kid who's still thrilled to wear the uniform and play the game they love. 
And now the second quarter just getting set to start. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Heat? I tell you what, the scoring has come in threes for the most part here so far. Every time down the floor, it seems they're Find knocking the down the triple. The on the court for Miami here in the second. Jimmy Butler is out there with Chris Bosh. Then there's Dwayne Wade. Then it's Dallenberg. And it's Sadoransky in at the point. Rockets trail by nine. Dishes it to Udrick. Outside wall. He feeds it to Red. Plenty of space. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Wall's got three assists in the game. Outside Butler. And he goes in for the dunk. Boy, he's just dangling from the rim after sending it through there. You can see which team now has the swagger, Clark, right now. Yeah, it's exactly. It's with them. And, guys, that swagger can backfire because you don't want to get your opponent a little too riled up. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Wade drives in. Wall with the steal. And Udrick with a clear path to the hoop. Pushing it up. Pick off in midair. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Pass to Sadoransky. Now here's Wade. D right on him. Wash kicks to Wade. Takes a three. It's rebounded by Houston. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Wall dishes to Udrich. Back to Wall. A stupendous finish in traffic. Wall's got six points. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but also the body movement off the ball that's created a lot of those opportunities. Now, here's Dallenberg. Butler with the ball. He picked up 18 points in the last win against the Pistons in Detroit. Great offensive performance they're putting on. You see the benefit of knocking down baskets consecutively because it leads to the confidence growing and growing. And guys, we call that the zone because that's where they are right now. They are in a zone, and I'm sure they feel unstoppable. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. The drive by Wade gets blocked. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Wall with the ball, and that one's good. Now it's just a three-point Miami lead. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Wade passes to Butler. No good. The Rockets go the other way with it. Here's Wall. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Yeah, they have really owned the interior. You've got to collapse that defense and force them to beat you over the top. about the way he's able to angle his body to shield the big fella off and still get the finish. You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. And he made it he, he made it look easy that time. A timely screen gave him a step and he took it all the way. Wall's got eight points in the quarter. 
If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and keep scoring points. Keep it going. Not a lot you can do as a defense when they keep getting the ball in the paint like this. And here's Houston. They're on a 12-4 run. The pass to Persingas. Fires for three. But he recovers it. To the wing on the left. Knocked loose. Inside. Second chance shot. And it's Love laying it in. Love's got six. Here's Sodoronsky. He has five. He kicks it to Butler. Bosch a screen on Reddick. Butler dishes to Bosch. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. And it's eight points for Chris Bosch. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. Love wide open. He fires. Love with another miss. Berzingis can't hit. The Heat with the lead. Butler attacking. And a big pounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Butler's got his third bucket of the night. D-Way with an excellent pass there. Rockets have gone 7 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. And Wall kicks to Udra. Passes it to Persingas. It's a pick by Love. They set the pick. Off the pick. A shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. And really, the defense didn't do a lot to fight around that screen on that possession. Butler kept alive. Another shot. And the layup is up and in. And the Heat lead by three. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. It's becoming a theme in this game, Clark. They are piling up the points in the paint. Now here's Wall. 12 points for him. Love right side. Jimmy Butler with the rebound. Butler's got his third rebound tonight. That's good, and that evens things out. 50-50. Four of eight shooting this game. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. Yeah, maybe a change of the game plan right now, looking at some different sets because of the matchups. Yeah, I agree with you, because they're looking to tweak things to maybe get those matchups working in their favor. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Generally, he's checked in for Udra. Barnes, he's checked in for Miami. Turner comes in for Sedaransky. Rockets trail by five. And here's Wall. Love outside. Four on three as they bring it up. And Turner kicks to Wade. Here's Bosch. Tries again. And the rejection by Love. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Love. Yambo, he's checked in for Miami. And the Heat call time here. Layup off the pick. And 
and a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Been a good one for Butler. He has nine points, and he's made some good decisions with the basketball, too. And being smart with the ball like he's been today, Clark, I, I think it's critical for him and them. He should repeat that every game. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Free throw good from Butler. And so Butler nails both of them. That's a great job from the line this quarter. Rockets trail by seven. Wall. He's got 12. To the paint. Here's Blitz. Chris Bosch with the rebound. Good little two man action there, but they just can't get the shot to fall. Yeah, but that was a beauty. Good looking shot, well executed play. I wouldn't be surprised to see them go back to it. Good. Bosch has got the lead up to nine now for the Heat. Just no chance for the smaller defender to block that shot. He's really, really good at using his size to free himself up for those mid-range jumpers. Master it. Turner against Wall. And Turner kicks to Barnes. Butler on the way. Inside. And then Biombo with the dunk. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throwdown. And Clark, now's the time to do it. Continue to attack that rim. Tell you what, Kevin, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. Clark, that deficit will go away quickly if he does. And how about how he capped that one out? Almost like the one-two punch. Now here's Barnes. 14 points from him, the last game against the Pistons in Detroit. To the middle. That's good, and the Heat lead is cut to just seven on the basket from Bayless. Yeah, they've cut into a nice flow this quarter. Yeah, looking to turn things around here, Greg, and cut into this lead. Bosch, the screen. Feeds it to Turner. Back to Barnes. Back at six. The Heat need to get a shot off. No one near Turner as he lets it go. Open jump shot off the mark. Houston's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. All with it. Butler covering. Wall passes to Bayless. To the right side. Here's the general. And off the left side of the rim. And it swirls in for him. The general's got 11 points. And Turner kicks to Butler. Back to Turner. There's the three. And he gets it to go. Turner's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Butler against Wall. Here's Bayless. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And now, in transition, it's Barnes. Here we go. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got four assists in the game. And he just big boyed it right there. The height advantage he's got down low, really difficult for them to defend. Now here's Wall. 12 points for him. There's the pick. Pass to the general. Here is Bayless. Turner covering. Bayless's shot is off. The Heat leading by 10. Now Barnes. It's good, and he threw contact on the shot, so we will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Tyler Hansbrough checked in for Houston. And Miami with a change here, too. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for Chris Bosch. One shot. One shot.
The free throw off from Barnes. Rockets trail by 12. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Most any NBA player can make you pay when you leave them that wide open. That's why you have to stay alert on defense. Lowry kicks to Turner. Got a hand on it. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. I am no good on that time either. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. A Heat leading by nine. Kicks to Lowry. There's the screen. Outside turn. And they turn over the 24 second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And checking out some numbers for Wall. Last season, he played outstanding. Fifth in assists, 13th in steals and he ranked in the top 15 in points per game, one of the league's premier offensive threats. And as you mentioned, I mean, dishing out dimes at a top five pace, he was in total command of the offense last season. Latch the pass to Bayless. Here's the general. 14 points for him. That's good. The general's got a couple of three-pointers in the second to the Lions. And getting going here in the second quarter, his second three-pointer of the game. And it's Turner off the drive. Again, the miss by Turner. And boy, has he been struggling big time here in the quarter. Yeah, he's played tight. I mean, you can see it. No flow at all to his game right now. Now, here's Wall. 12 points for him. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. We'll shoot one more at the free throw line. And that sends John Wall to the free throw line. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. For Houston, they have shot 67% from the line tonight, going for a six. One shot. One shot. That one misses for Wall. Well, just take a look at what Wall's done tonight. He has 14 points and five assists. And his offense has matched the defensive effort today. He's been really just one of the best players on both ends. I don't know if you can say enough about the job he's been doing in all aspects of the game. I mean, stuff in the stat sheet when you look at it. Great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and trigger the fast break. And now just a one-possession game thanks to that quick hitter. Outstanding play in the open court. Now here's Butler. He's got 11. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. That shot wide open. And that's now six points for Barnes. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge, Greg. And when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Here's Wall, and it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Heat lead by four. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Well, I'm here with Coach Eric Spolster. And Coach, at what end of the floor are you guys looking to make adjustments for in this second half? Well, on both ends, uh, decision-making offensively. Uh, with the turnovers, got him out in the open court, got him some easy ones, and we have to settle into our game defensively, try to disrupt him a little bit. It's been uh, way too easy for us. Eric, appreciate it. Kevin, back to you. All right, Doris, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, two quarters down, two to go. Welcome back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith as we start breaking it down for you. Dwayne Wade wasted no time getting hot. He had 11 points, five assists, and five rebounds. Kenny, let's start with you. What'd you think about the Heat? Well, quite simply, their bench showed up tonight. And when I say showed up, I'm talking about on the offensive end because they were scoring in bunches. Now, you want your reserves to just at least come in and hold the fort, but they did way more than that tonight. 
And Shaq, let's get your input on the Rockets. They're giving up way too many good looks. You want to keep your opponent under 50% shooting? They have not done that. What's the solution? Maybe more ball pressure, more physicality down low. Whatever it is, Ernie, they need to figure it out. That's going to do it for now as the second half is just about ready to get started. We'll see you later. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out a way here in the third. Well, some really terrific numbers for the general. He's got 19 points and his two blocks have given them a lift.